The following are 20 easy habits that will keep your house clutter free. 1. Wake up early. One of the first and easiest habits for keeping your house clean is to wake up early. Getting up early in the morning keeps you fresh and energetic. By waking up early, you can save your time, which you will waste sleeping if you do not get up early. Moreover, getting up early is also beneficial to your health, which will ultimately contribute to your stamina and allow you to stand for long hours while decluttering your house. 2. Arrange the bed. The second easiest habit for a clutter-free house is to arrange your things when you get up. Although it appears to be a minor act that takes little time, it has a positive impact on the rest of your day. Additionally, it is the first formal act to declutter your house. It is believed that if you start your day by making your bed, your day will go well. 3. Set rules. The third step towards a clutter-free house is to set rules in the house. The mother of the family should teach rules to her children and husband to keep their things in order. Every member of the family should be taught not to do any act that will become the cause of littering in the house. Once everyone in the family develops the habit of following the rule, the house will be clutter-free. 4. Be punctual. The fourth habit to develop to make your house clutter-free is to become punctual. Doing things on time most of the time makes a house clean. For instance, if you do not wash away the dust from the floor of the house regularly, the dust attaches permanently to the floor. This eventually leads to a deserted house. Being punctual can also help you save time for other things and accomplish more in less time. 5. Do not be a spendthrift. Avoiding frivolous purchases is the fifth habit of keeping your house clean and clutter-free. This will also help you save some money to buy necessary items. You should also set a schedule and make a list of things that are mandatory to purchase. After you list things the first time, filter them to discard unnecessary items, which will break your decluttering. 6. Sell old things. The sixth habit for keeping your home clutter-free is to sell or give away old items that have not been used in a long time. In addition to keeping your house clean, this habit will earn you some money to buy other things. For greed of money, you get rid of old, unused things. 7. Create space for things. The seventh habit of a clutter-free home is to make room for things. You should appropriate a specific place for specific things. For example, you should not place extra things in the bathroom, which makes it full and awkward. Things like empty soap packets and old toothbrushes should be thrown in the trash immediately. Moreover, you should clean your bathroom toilet regularly so that it looks well arranged. 8. Purchase cupboards. The eighth habit is to purchase a cupboard to keep things in one place. Things like shoes, clothes, purses, etc. should be kept in the cupboard to make your house look clean. Everyone should be trained to put their extra or worn out things in the cupboard so that nothing unnecessary is out there. You should divide the cupboard into small boxes and put things in the boxes according to their size and importance. 9. Set up trash cans. The ninth habit of the 20 is to keep at least one trash bin at home for keeping used things like scraps and the like in one place. If possible, one room should have one trash bin so that it does not overflow easily. Your trash can should be movable, as when needed, you should move it from one place to another. You should take the trash out of the house at least twice a week. 10. Wash away dishes. The 10th habit to keep your house decluttered is to wash dishes as soon as you have a meal. Because the longer the dishes remain unwashed, the worse the kitchen appears. Doing away with the dishes on a daily basis or after every meal keeps the kitchen and house clean and clutter-free. This will also prevent you from catching diseases. 11. Seasonal decluttering. Maintaining seasonal clutter is one of the most important habits for keeping your home clutter-free. Winter clothes and shoes should be put in closets or wardrobes when summer comes. Similarly, summer clothes, shoes, and other things should be put into their respective places when winter comes. Seasonal cluttering will teach you how to be adaptive to the change of season. 12. Change of place. Moving things around after some time is the 12th habit of a clutter-free home. Once a month, you should move things from one place to another. This thing will bring a new look to the house. When a relative of yours visits your house after a month or so, they will find it a new one as the things they had seen on their last visit are no longer in the same place. If you do not regulate things, your house might have a monotonous look. 13. Paperless work. With the advent of modern technology, the paperwork has been reduced to almost 0%, which has brought efficiency to the work. If you do the same thing in your home, it may also have a clean appearance. 
you should scan all of your documents into your PC and put all the hard copies of your work aside to maintain a clutter-free house. This will also improve the quality of your work in addition to the clutter-free house. 14. Cooperation. The task of keeping your house is impossible if you do not take help from your siblings, children, or spouse. It is also one of the most important aspects of any task, not just keeping the house clean. By doing so, the responsibility of cleanliness does not fall on the shoulders of one person alone. When everyone in the house does his or her part of a task, the house seems well managed. 15. Filling empty spaces. The 15th habit to follow to make your house clutter-free is to stuff the blank spaces with unnecessary things. For example, put your shoes in a corner of the room or hallway. You should also hang a curtain in the corner where you keep your belongings so that when someone sees your shoes, he or she does not mistake it for carelessness. This thing will fill the blank spaces while keeping your things aside. 16. Gallery. When moving to a new home, designate a specific area for storage where you can keep your belongings for as long as you want. By placing your things in the gallery, it will be easier for you to find them. Most of the houses already have galleries. Some houses have no galleries, so you should create one for yourself to keep your house clutter-free. 17. Follow a routine. When you are decluttering your house, you should follow a schedule. You should make a list of the things that you will clean daily, weekly, and monthly. Routine will keep your work organized and prevent you from missing deadlines. Following a routine helps you stay focused and organized. 18. Kitchen Shelves It looks stunning when shelves are installed on the walls of a kitchen. You should place your dishes on shelves after washing them. This habit makes your kitchen look clean and neat. You should allocate shelves for different items. For example, for spoons, glasses, and meal dishes, you should have separate shelves. This thing helps you find anything easily. 19. Overview When you are done with your day's tasks and decluttering, you should overview and check everything to make sure that you left nothing unclean or cluttered. An overview of all the day's work also boosts your energy, and you feel energetic even at the end of the day. It also helps to do the task early if you miss it one day. 20. Be motivated The last and most important habit for decluttering your house is to remain motivated. Motivation is something that keeps you going no matter how hard things get. You should motivate yourself by reminding yourself how hard you worked that day. When feeling unmotivated, you should take a break because your motivation decreases when you're tired. 